going on? And welcome back to Are You Serious? Got my guy, Connor Barron and Ryan Fireball. And you see me throw up the X. I got the old school dad's jersey on. He doesn't play anymore, but it doesn't matter because first thing we're going to talk about, you already know, first thing on the list is those Cowboys, baby. We're the hottest team in the NFL right now. We're the hottest team in the NFL right now. Okay, Best defense okay. in the league, arguably. We just shut down Drew Brees, arguably. The greatest quarterback of all time. What do you think about that game? You already know what I got to say. Come on now. We're, we're dominant. We just dominated. That defense definitely needs to be talked about more. Whew. I mean, I didn't even know they were that good. But you got Vander Esch, Jalen Smith, uh, Lee. Lee, yeah. Demarcus Lawrence. That, Randy that, Gregory. Yeah. That team is... Ooh. They got that defense right of, now, right? A lot of pro bowlers on that team to complement that offensive line that we, when we get healthy, we even have Tyron Smith last night. Tyron yeah. Smith was out. Uh, what do you think? Um, Cowboys played well. I didn't really mm-hmm. watch Oh, come on. Time. Give me some more than that. <laughs> like, not I that monotone. I didn't really watch much of it. I was watching Sporting Kansas City's playoff. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. If, this was, if this was Patriots and Packers, oh, my God. <laughs> come on now, baby. Sorry, man. You, see the cow- you see the Cowboys. You see the Cowboys. I'm being truthful, man. I didn't watch so much of it. Oh, man. I still do not trust Dak that much. I mean, I feel like he did turn it over. He fumbled it. But uh, the defense stepped up, which is huge. Oh, on that goal line stand? Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. I still don't trust Dak, but. Dak played well. He's, 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 he's all right. You see what's right. happening. Zeke is uh, getting, Zeke, he's, he's eating, and that's he's, opening up that play he's action. He's eating that, baby. Whew. <laughs> yeah, love, love to see that. All right, let's talk about a little thing that I've been seeing on Twitter. K-State fans. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're unhappy about it. Kansas and Oklahoma State fans, they're super excited. <laughs> uh, Puka Williams and uh, Justice, Justice Hill. Hill were all uh, Big 12 first-team running backs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I say they both deserved it. I say they both deserved it. And if anybody should have been left off, I say it should have been Justice Hill. Yeah. Brian, let's start with you. I think you have a different opinion. What do you think? So with K-State's guy, Puka had 100 less yards on what? Mm-hmm. I think like 100 less carries. carries. 100 less 96. You give him that many carries and – the production he put, he Se- soared past. Seven he yards carry. Seven yards a carry. Seven yards a carry. And then I have no idea on Justice Hill. He, Here, here's, he my, missed, here's my Justice thing. Hill missed the last three games, I, I think. I two. think that's the no, reason that got him. He like, missed like, the first three games. Oh, okay, okay. But like, here's my thing. The Oklahoma State's quarterback, Cornelius, had more rushing touchdowns than Justice Hill. And Justice Hill only had four touchdowns in the Big 12 play. Like, he's not going to perform in Big 12 like Alex Barnes did. Alex Barnes had 11 touchdowns in Big 12. That right there, I feel like... I think those two could have been a to- I think Justice Hill, I don't know. I, I think those two are a toss-up. I know total on the season, I think Hill had three less touchdowns than Barnes, mm-hmm. but he did play in uh, three less games. And then in that Oklahoma yeah. State, K-State game, uh, Alex Barnes had four touchdowns, and Justice Hill had zero so, I mean, if we're counting that game, there was going to be – there was games when Alex Barnes really struggled and there mm-hmm. had to have been a game where yeah. Justice Hill played really well to, I mean, balance that out kind yeah. of. So, mm-hmm. anything else? I mean, uh, Coach Pinner, obviously, <laughs> he – every every Kansas State fan was really upset on Twitter. It was funny yeah. was watching those guys. It, though. You can. I can, yeah. Because there's angles for everything you can see, so. And they're saying, what, he led the Big 12 in rushing and, yeah. and rushing yards and rushing touchdowns, so he deserved it. I say Puka deserved it. Oh, Justice Puka Hill. definitely deserved it. Justice Hill. He's going to be that centerpiece of Les Miles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I can't wait. For, That'll be fun to see in the future. Uh, mm-hmm. Best freshman of the newcomer, Big 12. He's, 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 he's going to be a monster. He's, he's going to be good. He's, he's going to be a monster. Good. All right, so uh, I'm sad. I'm going to take this off and be walk. I had to bring it, though. Come on, Cowboys. We're, we're, how does it feels good to be in the lead of your division, in the uh, driver's I seat? Know, I don't know how that feels. You know how – yeah, Browning knows, too. He's a Chiefs fan. I'm a Cowboys fan. We're in the driver's seat of our division. Hey. Uh, you're almost – no, run, you're run not. The table you're part. the worst team run, in your Run the table part, too. He's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on the table part, too. All right, so we're going to be right back. We have a, a little game uh, coming up, so stay tuned. <laughs> oh, man. Starting in 2003, Year 5 Ceramics is a place of warmth and comfort and offers a larger-than-normal selection of bits. This establishment has activities for all ages, including birthday parties and ladies' nights. Located in Andover, they have a wide variety of colors and options for your projects. So call or walk in today to be a part of the fun. If you're looking for cost-efficient shirt buying options, go to Shirt Plus where you can get some of the best shirts in Kansas. 
Church Plus has been in Kansas for the past 30 years and continues to serve Kansas today. For all your shirt needs, make sure to go to Church Plus located at 703 North Buckner, Derby, Kansas. Hi, I'm Austin Graham. You should watch the fake news. Uh, the news catch comedy show for market production. Which there we go, get him! Welcome. Welcome back. You know. <laughs> See you later, baby. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna play buy or sell. Buy or sell. Um, so, I mean, we're gonna come up with topics and mm -hmm. are you buying it? And if you think it's, you like it, you think it's gonna happen, or are you selling it? You don't really, it's not happening. So, uh, first, I think we're gonna start off with Chiefs. So, they're in the driver's seat. Yeah, they're in first, but the Chargers are right on their heels. Mm -hmm. Are the Chargers a threat in the AFC come playoff time to get to the AFC Championship, Ugh. win the AFC Championship, and get to the Super Bowl? Connor. Why I'm going to sell on this one. Sell on this one, okay. I do not trust a running game with Melvin Gordon out right now. I don't know how long he's going to be out with that straight MCL. But I just – something about him just doesn't feel like they're a top ten team. I still think they're worse than the Steelers. Um, that's my Super Bowl pick right there, Steelers. Still. But um, I just – they like that team that's good, but I don't know how good they are yet. Okay. It's, it's, I mean – Buy or selling? I'm kind of mixed. I can see Connor's standpoint, but I can also buy it because they've been playing really well lately. So you're gonna buy? Philip Rip, I'm in the middle. No, you gotta buy. Uh, you gotta buy or sell. That's what's not. It's not. I'll go ahead and buy it. I'll go ahead and buy it. I'll buy it. I agree. I'm buying. Philip Rivers the other day started what 25 or 25. Mm -hmm. 25 for 25. Even at his age, he's still playing pretty well, and he's a quarterback. I can lead a team all the way through the playoffs with his experience. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. I'm buying that too. Philip Rivers, they're flying. They're really under the radar. We didn't mention we got the. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, we the, the, <laughs> we're all wearing this because it's. I mean, it's game day here. We're all about. We're playing basketball, so uh, I forgot to mention that. Uh, oh yeah, Brownie comes out <laughs> here too. He's got his on too. We're all repping, uh, getting ready for uh, game day. We play. The girls play. We'll mention that later. But uh, next topic. Uh, we're. What, what is oh, it? buy or sell? Colin Sexton is better than Trey Young. I'll start. I'm buying this for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, I think Trey Young is good with the ball in his hands uh, only. Really, I mean, he's like you see him struggling. Uh, and then when he puts up big numbers, it's what like 25 and 20. Mm -hmm. I mean, but can he do? What does he do off ball? Most of his shots are coming off yeah. ball screens. Con Sexton is coming off screens, off ball screens, and uh, coming off on ball screens. And he plays, he plays, he competes on defense. I think a lot more than Trey Young does. Oh yeah, he's more definitely, definitely. Physically, he's a, he's a dog. Yeah, he's a dog. He's more like he's physically more, you know, NBA a, ready. Yeah, NBA ready than Trey Young. So I think, and he's been playing really well recently. He's on the Cavs, granted. So maybe you're saying maybe hey, you're they, saying they've won two numbers. They won two. They won two straight. Yeah, have they really? No, they haven't. They lost to the Thunder, oh. I think, yesterday. Um, but I'm buying on that. What do you What do you guys think? Right. Um, I'm gonna buy it as well. Mm -hmm. I think Colin Sexton's just an all-around better player, as you said. I think that Trey Young tries to be too much like Jimmer for debt, <laughs> shooting-wise, in my opinion. And he has handles, but. The fact that he's more, he has to go backwards off the, the maybe occasional ball screen he does get mm -hmm. because the posts maybe hedge it so much. He has to go back and then he fires from what, 30 feet? Yeah. That's not a shot every NBA coach wants all the time. And to me, he's too self centered in his offense. Mm -hmm. Colin Sexton has people around him that help him still. Yeah. Obviously, Cavaliers just trading Kyle Corbin right. and Jazz. Yeah, um, Alec Burks, that's a. I mean, I, Alec, Alec Burks and Colin Sexton. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Buy this one real quick. I'm going to buy this. You're going to buy it too? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, this one is <clears throat> Grizzlies in the NBA were in the one seed. Uh, Until the Clippers jumped them, you know. Until the Clippers jumped that's, them. That's so, my team. Um, buy or sell. Are the Grizzlies going to make the NBA playoffs in the Western Conference? Connor. I'm going to buy this. Buy. Because they are just such a – Different style from everyone else in the league. They had the lowest pace in the league and the lowest points per game in the league, mm -hmm. but they also allow the lowest points allowed. So I'm gonna, they're just like, people are going to be like playing the Warriors, the Rockets, they're just chucking up threes, and then they got to go play the Grizzlies. And they got a different style, and they're not used to it. But the thing about that is I don't, stay, I don't see them winning in, the round, in like round one in the playoffs. I just see them making it like as a seven seed or eight seed. Uh, you're buying or selling? Um, I'm going a, I'm to a buy, but I think they'll barely sneak in. At some point, the old school basketball is going to get overrun by the modern basketball. 
and teams are just going to be able to outscore them because they're going to have an off night. They're not going to be able to score as much. I mean, but that's not really what they're based on, I feel like. Still. It's putting that ball in it's putting, I mean, you have to, but it's, I feel like they can do school. that. They're I'm the selling. Game. I'm selling on this You're one. You're selling this? I thought I was going to buy, but it, the Western Conference is just too bunch stuff right now. Teams go on winning. <laughs> teams go on hot streaks after All-Star break and going into All-Star break. You Why? just said you were He's buying this yesterday. There. I know. I thought about it a little bit, and I was like, no, teams go on hot streaks. Utah, they picked up a win. So if Utah rattles off some straight, and then some other teams like uh, Sacramento rattles off some straight, then... <laughs> Sacramento is up there right now. If the Thunder start playing well with the teams, and if Houston starts playing well, Houston's in not even right now. If the playoffs ended right now, Houston's not even in the playoffs. Those teams are going to start performing. Good. That's what they do come playoff time. That is That's true. why they're contenders. Mm-hmm. But the Grizzlies but can't contend. The Grizzlies right are now like with, with veteran with players. Forty year old Marcus All and, and that's why they're going to make the playoffs. They're not going to make the. I mean, no, they're not. They're yes, not they make are. The playoffs. No. Yes, they are. The, the, no, with the the big time teams come. Big boy ball. That they are playing it's big gonna, boy it's ball. Gonna, it's gonna be it, it, well, no when the when it's the light shine. Those teams Mike are supposed Conley. to be in there. They're gonna be in there. I don't think it's happening. They could, but I don't think it's happening. Yes, it's happening. All right, <laughs> last one. <laughs> uh, buy or sell? Kawhi Leonard signing with New Balance. Do you what do you think about that move? I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy those shoes when they come out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is just oh, this, this most, is just the perfect shoe for Kawhi. You're gonna have like, the best grip on the floor. <laughs> you're gonna be always on balance. Yeah. Uh, what do you? Th- uh, I'm I'm buying this too. Yeah. I might have to call, I might have to get those <laughs> shoes too when they come out. I'm trying to. What do you think, Brian? I hate to say sell, but <laughs> oh, sell. Uh, Kawhi could have done so much better. Oh, like, man. no offense to New Balance, they're not in the basketball shoe game right now, and you can't deny that. <laughs> they just aren't in the game, and Kawhi, he's probably getting a decent paycheck from them. <laughs> but but you, you can't tell I me just, this is just so Kawhi-like. Like, it Kawhi, is. It's, Kawhi truly, Leonard, it's truly like him, but Kawhi I just... Kawhi Leonard and New I, Balance. I don't like it. Like, Kawhi Leonard and New Balance, they're just like, it's not Nike, it's not Jordan, it's not mm-hmm. Adidas, it's not Under Armour. It's not even Puma or Reebok. It's just like <laughs> hey, New Balance. <laughs> like it's like him signing with Skechers almost or something. Like I just it just makes sense. It just makes yeah. sense seeing Kawhi do that. All right, so that was buy or sell. That was fun. Um, Man, I'm broke. I bought all of them. You you bought all? of I them? I bought all of them. Yeah, Connor's out. Connor's a, he's out of money right now. So uh, uh, we'll be right back. Best thing we've seen in sports and some Rose Hill sports. So we'll be right back. Derby Library first started in 1958 as two rooms in the back of Derby City Hall. After changing location around the Derby area, the library settled in its current location on 1600 East Walnut Grove, just around the corner from City Hall. In partnership with the Wichita area, there are three regularly held book club meetings, which may be attended by anybody. They also have art galleries, and if you sign up for their newsletter, you'll get a periodic email about the events going on in that upcoming month. The visiting hours are 9 o'clock a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday, with alternate schedules for Friday and the weekend hours. For more information, their phone number is 316-788-0760. Make sure to visit the local public derby library today. Hi, we're your Channel 7 News team. Make sure to check us out on RHBN every other Friday. For fans of small town comfort food and community values, Louis Cafe in Rose Hill is the place to eat. With a fine selection of gourmet burgers and dinner meals, Louis has been a staple since 2003. Home of the world's famous Louis fries. So dine in or call now. 316-776-9005. Hi, I'm Cody Pitts. Come watch fake news with me. Please, come watch fake news. I'm lonely. Please, come on. Just please watch fake news. I'm very lonely here. Please, come watch it. Did you just turn the camera off? No, it's on. No, I can tell when the camera's off. Turn it back on. Trust me, it's on. No, it is not. Turn it back on. Cody, we talked about this. You're not supposed to keep acting out like this. I need them. Please turn it back on. No, I'm leaving. And I'm taking the camera with me. Oh, you dare walk out that door with my camera. It's not your camera. Welcome back to Are You Serious? And we've got the best thing in sports this week. We usually like to do this to end up on a Friday show, you yep. know, give us feel a feel good Friday. Feel good Friday, mm-hmm. yeah. 
And this week, it's Sister Jean from Loyola, mm -hmm. Chicago. Yep. Mm -hmm. The 99-year-old woman got her Final Four ring from the team's amazing Final Four run last week. I mean, look at that ring. That's, that's, that's a quality ring. <laughs> that's that's um, cool. She's, that is cool. She was huge in headlines when March Madness was yep. around. And it's great to see the team give her a ring because she deserves it. Does mm -hmm. anybody else get a Final Four ring except her? What do you mean? Like, well, the players got it. The players get a Final Four ring? Players shouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. We were talking about this yesterday. Stitcher Jane should get one. She's cool. But, you know. Do they get final, Do they get rings for Final Fours or do you get rings for National Championships? Yes. yes. You get rings You won the regional. Four. I guess. You didn't win the whole thing, though. Yeah, but you still you won the regional. No, I thought they get the trophy. Like the, they do. The get, and, trophy. and they get the, the ring. Trophy. They get rings, too. Yeah. Final Four ring. You you would want a final four ring if you went to the final four. Yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, so here in Rose Hill, basketball first game tonight, boys and girls uh, against Circle um, at home. At mm -hmm. home, at home against Circle. Swim is tomorrow at Maze, and wrestling is tomorrow at Valley Center. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they got uh, snowball tomorrow. Fun fun uh, couple days coming up here, so uh, um, it'll be fun. So. We will see you guys on Tuesday, right? Yep. All right, see Tuesday. you guys on Tuesday. And guy Connor Bam, Brian Fireball. We will see you guys on Tuesday.